Imagine, if you will, a time before time, a cosmic stage set for a cataclysmic event that would birth a celestial legend. Let's embark on a journey back to the dawn of our solar system, a time when chaos reigned supreme and celestial bodies danced a dance of destruction and creation. This was a time when the stars were young and the rules of the universe were still being written. Among the swirling clouds of dust and gas amidst the cosmic ballet, a young planet was taking shape. This was Earth, a fledgling world, fresh and full of promise. Yet unbeknownst to this nascent planet, it was on a collision course with destiny. For out there in the cosmic wilderness, another celestial body was hurtling through space. This was Theia, a planetesimal roughly the size of Mars. Named after the Titaness of Greek mythology, who was the mother of the moon goddess Selene, Theia was on a direct path with our young Earth. This was not a dance of elegance, but a dance of power, a dance of cataclysm. The stage was set for an event of such magnitude that it would forever alter the course of history for our young planet. The two celestial bodies, Earth and Theia, locked in a gravitational embrace, drew closer and closer. The tension mounted as they spiraled towards each other, pulled in by forces beyond their control. The cosmic ballet was reaching its crescendo. The moment of impact was a spectacle of unimaginable scale. Theia, traveling at a speed of around 20 kilometers per second, struck Earth with a force so great that it sent shockwaves rippling through the fabric of space itself. But it is out of chaos that order is born. From this violent collision, a new celestial body emerged. Debris from the impact, thrown into orbit around the Earth, eventually coalesced and formed a natural satellite that we now know as the Moon. And in that moment, a collision of unfathomable scale occurred and a legend was born. The cataclysmic collision was just the beginning. What followed was a ballet of chaos and creation. In the aftermath of the celestial crash, Earth was left surrounded by a cloud of debris, a swirling chaotic mess of rock and dust that had been flung out into its orbit. This was not the end, but rather the beginning of a new chapter in our planet's history. Over time, the force of gravity began to work its magic. The debris, like dancers in a cosmic ballet, slowly started to come together bit by bit, piece by piece. This was not a quick process, but rather a slow and steady dance that took place over millions of years. The debris gradually coalesced, forming a rough sphere that we now know as our moon. In its early days, the moon was much closer to Earth than it is today. So close, in fact, that it would have dominated the night sky, appearing much larger than we see it now. And yet, despite its proximity, it remained silent and still, a mute spectator to the tumultuous events unfolding on its parent planet. But nothing in the universe stays still for long. Over the eons, the moon began to drift away from Earth, a process that continues to this day. The cause of this drift is a fascinating interplay of gravitational forces between Earth and the moon and the ocean tides they create. Each year, the moon moves about an inch and a half further from our planet, an invisible dance that we are only just beginning to understand. And so, after a fiery birth and a slow dance of creation, the dust finally settled. In the silence that followed the chaos, a new entity had emerged. There it was, our moon shining bright in the darkness of space, a silent witness to Earth's violent past. And as it drifted slowly away, it continued to watch over us, a constant companion in our journey through the cosmos. As the dust settled, there it was, our moon, a silent witness to Earth's violent past. While the moon silently orbits our Earth, its influence is anything but quiet. This celestial body, our moon, plays a more significant role in our lives than merely casting a soft glow in the night sky. It's an unsung hero, subtly shaping the Earth and the life that it nurtures. The moon's gravitational pull tugs at our Earth, slowing its rotation. This results in our 24-hour days. Without the moon, our days could be as short as six hours, leaving us in a dizzying spin and causing drastic shifts in temperature. But the moon's influence doesn't stop there. It also stabilizes Earth's axial tilt, the angle between our planet's rotational axis and its orbital plane. This tilt, held steady at around 23 and a half degrees, is responsible for our seasons. Without the moon's steadying hand, this tilt could wobble dramatically, leading to catastrophic changes in our climate, rendering life as we know it impossible. Now let's dive a bit deeper. The moon's gravitational pull also drives the ebb and flow of our ocean tides. These rhythmic cycles of rising and falling waters have played a crucial role in the emergence and evolution of life on Earth. 
The intertidal zones, areas exposed to air at low tide and submerged at high tide, provided the perfect incubator for early marine life forms to adapt and evolve, eventually leading to life as we know it today. From the humblest microorganism to the most complex human being, life on Earth is a symphony conducted by the Moon. Its silent influence has guided the evolution of our planet and the life it hosts, shaping the world in ways we often overlook. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky and marvel at the moon's serene beauty, remember its quiet but profound influence on our world. From the tides to the tilt, the moon has silently sculpted life on Earth. Even today, the moon holds many secrets, its history a mystery that continues to baffle and intrigue us. It's a celestial body that's been our constant companion, yet it carries within it enigmas that continue to confound even the most brilliant minds. For instance, why does the moon's far side have a thicker crust than the side facing us? Scientists have theorized that this could be due to a slower cooling rate on the far side, causing the lunar magma to thicken and form a denser crust. But there's no definitive answer and the debate continues, then there's the presence of water ice at the Moon's poles. It's an anomaly that's hard to explain, considering the Moon's thin atmosphere and the intense solar radiation it receives, yet there it is, water ice hidden in the shadows of lunar craters, defying our understanding of this barren, rocky satellite. And let's not forget the recent discovery of rust on the Moon's surface. Rust, as we know, forms when iron reacts with oxygen and water, but the Moon's atmosphere contains negligible amounts of these elements, so how did rust form on the lunar surface? Some scientists suggest it could be due to the Earth's atmospheric oxygen reaching the Moon, or perhaps water ice reacting with lunar soil. But again, these are just theories, and the true cause remains a puzzle. These mysteries remind us that despite our advancements in technology and our numerous lunar missions, we've barely scratched the surface of understanding our closest celestial neighbour. The moon, it seems, still has many tales to tell, many secrets to reveal. Each mystery unraveled only leads to more questions, making the moon an enigma wrapped in a riddle. We may gaze upon it night after night, we may have even set foot on its desolate landscape, but the moon, it appears, is determined to keep some of its secrets to itself, at least for now. As we gaze upon the moon, we can't help but wonder about its future. The moon, our celestial neighbor, has been a constant companion in our night sky for billions of years, but what lies ahead for this silent sentinel of the Earth? Fascinatingly, the moon is slowly drifting away from us at a rate of about one and a half inches per year. While this might not seem significant now over billions of years, it could lead to longer days on Earth and a smaller appearance of the moon in our sky. But the future of the moon isn't just about its celestial dance with Earth, it's also about us. The humans who have gazed upon it for millennia and who now dream of setting foot on its surface once again. The moon holds enormous potential for human exploration and colonization. Already space agencies around the world have plans to return humans to the moon in the next decade. Imagine, if you will, a future where humans have established a permanent base on the moon. This lunar outpost could serve as a launch pad for missions to Mars and beyond, opening the door to a new era of space exploration. The Moon could also offer resources that are scarce on Earth, such as helium-3, a potential fuel for future nuclear fusion power plants. But the Moon is more than just a resource or a stepping stone. It's a testament to our past and a key to our future. By studying the Moon, we can learn more about our own planet's history and perhaps find answers to some of our most pressing questions. What are the origins of life on Earth? Can we sustain life beyond our home planet? Whether as a stepping stone to the cosmos or a testament to our past, the Moon's future is as intriguing as its history. And as we continue to explore and study this enigmatic celestial body, we can't help but look forward to the discoveries and opportunities that lie ahead. So as we turn our eyes to the stars, let us not forget the Moon, our steadfast companion in our journey through the cosmos.